Today's gonna be the updated tutorial on how to install WOKADA's real-time voice changer. This time around, we're gonna be using the Beatrice models and not IVC, which allows you to convert the voice much quicker and all on the CPU. So you don't need a high-powered GPU in order to run Beatrice and V2 real-time. As that was the biggest issue with the previous one. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video and get all of this installed. And real quick, I'm breaking this into a little mini series. This video is going to be the download and installation of the real-time voice changer. The follow-up video is going to be how you can actually train these Beatrice version 2 models. So if you already have the real-time voice changer installed and only want to know how to train models, then go ahead and head into the description. The video link will be down below when the video is available if you're watching on release. All right, so let's Let's head over into the real-time voice changer client. We're going to scroll down and go to the English section here. Um, and then you're going to click on this hyperlink where it says here, and it'll bring you to um, a downloads area. Or in the case in the future that it's different, we'll just scroll down and we'll find somewhere in here that says hugging face. So just find the link that's going to the hugging face page and we'll click that. Also just wanted to mention real quick that for the training video, you will need an NVIDIA GPU to train these Beatrice models. But if you're just interested in running Beatrice V2, you only need a CPU. So just thought I should mention that right now. And so here we're inside of the Hugging Face page. And what we want to do is find the latest edition. And if you're on Windows, we're going to download this Windows CUDA version. So um, the number may be different in the future, but we're going to click and download the latest CUDA version here. So all we have to do is click into it and then click on this download button here. And then just save this to somewhere that you'll be able to find on your computer. So we're going to click save that. It's pretty hefty, three gigabytes in this case. So just wait for that to finish downloading and then we'll be back. All right, so that finished up. So let's go ahead and click into it and you'll be brought to this folder. So just head back out to where you can actually see it and we're going to unzip it. So right click and then extract all. And once it's finished up, we're going to double click into it, go to distribution, main, and then we're going to click on this start http.bat. Now something on Windows will pop up, you'll just click more info and then run anyway. And just a general note, I haven't run into any issues with this package so far, so it seems pretty safe. However, running any software package from the internet could propose a security hazard for your computer. So just um, proceed if you understand the risks of downloading software from the internet. And so we're going to go ahead and click run anyway for this case. And what's going to happen is this command terminal is going to open and it's going to start a bunch of downloads. So wait for these downloads to finish. These are the models and modules that you would need. Um, for example, it's downloading RVC models, which are needed for the RVC portion of WOKADA, which we aren't using, but will be needed anyways. All right. And uh, when it's finished, it will launch this page and we're going to allow this. Um, this is just Windows firewall security coming up and go ahead and close out so we can access the voice changer client. Okay, so here we are inside of the voice changer client. You won't have any models right now unless you maybe had an RVC from the previous videos, but these five models are RVC as you can see in the top left corner of the icons. And then this JVS one is the Beatrice V2 model. And we're going to go and demonstrate that just to check that it's all working. So first, we've got to set up some things in here. We've got our client server is actually a little bit faster, but uh, we'll set it up inside of client first. So inside of client, you want to choose your microphone. In this case, I'm going to select this one. And then for the output, I'm going to select my headphones. This is so I don't have any a feedback loop when I'm playing out of my speakers to my microphone. And then monitor, you don't need any of this um, unless you want to monitor how it's sounding on some other device. And so let's put on some headphones. And then I'm going to, going click, to start click start, start here, here. And you'll, and start, to you'll hear start to the... hear that the voice is um, being converted into the... Um, well, whatever speaker is being selected in this voice area here. So we can select other voices in here. Um, and I assume we can change the pitch um, to go a little bit higher to maybe like female. So positive 12 pitch is an octave up, which if you're a male, you're going to want to increase it to the higher pitches to be in the female range. And so if you go through this list, the lower numbers here 
pertain to generally male voices, and then the higher numbers pertain to generally female voices. So, um, that's the case if I go here, I would have to change the pitch a little bit higher, and then maybe change formant. So, there is now one other thing that we can change, which is the chunk size here. So, chunk changes the domain, and if we put it at 2400, we're gonna have the least amount of domain on um, the output. So, so that's about it for the voice changer after downloading it. I'm gonna go ahead and click stop, and we're gonna go over one more setting, which is server. And in this, we have a lot more options here. But we're going to set it up with this WAS API option. So um, here I'm going to select that one for my microphone. And then I'm going to select the headphones out. And so WAS API is much faster. And before I start this, since I'm recording on OBS, I have to uncheck this WAS API exclude. And so when I, I click, click start, start, I can, I can now, now hear it in, in OBS, OBS and, and you guys, you guys can, can too. too. So, so um, um, so this gives you less delay on the voice changer. But the only issue with WAS API sometimes is that there are issues with the output. You can kind of hear um, how audio is being chunked. But I think that's just a speed issue. If you do run into that issue, I do just recommend running it on client. But in this case, we can run with WAS API and it'll be just fine. Alrighty, and so that's it for the installation and download of W Okada's real-time voice changer. This is the latest as of creating this video, so versions may change in the future. But the follow-up video is going to be how you can train Beatrice version 2 models. Like I said before, you do need NVIDIA GPUs in order to accomplish this. Though I think you can get away with um, 10 series, 20 series cards definitely 30 and 40 series NVIDIA GPUs to train these Beatrice models. Once again, if you're a member at the packages tier of my channel, you will get access to the package version of the Beatrice Voice Trainer Web UI where you just download it and you'll be able to run it. And so that will be available once that video comes out. But yeah, like I said, look forward to it in the next couple of days and I should be out with it soon. So with that, it's going to be it for today's video and I will see all of you guys later.